Now we go to talk to Arlen Specter, an important member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, a former prosecutor, Mr. Specter, based on what you have heard about these allegations of the President of the United States, if they in fact are true, will the President be forced to resign or face impeachment? Uh, <clears throat> Tim, I believe it is very important at this point not to answer hypothetical questions, but to try to put the media frenzy behind us and to allow the President to go on with his business. Uh, I would say this, uh, I do not believe the Congress is going to impeach the President unless there is an open and shut case. And I believe if there is an open and shut case, conclusive, uh, that the President will resign. Uh, so I do not think that the country is going to be put through this trauma. The House is not going to vote impeachment. The Senate's not going to sit on articles unless it's open and shut. And if it comes to that, I don't think the President will stay in office. Mr. Specter, is the simple fact of a president having sex with a White House intern, absent perjury or obstruction of justice, enough for a president to resign? Uh, it may well be. Uh, there is a different question as to resignation contrasted with grounds for impeachment. To be impeached, the Constitution calls for high crimes and misdemeanors, and I think that would require perjury or obstruction of justice for impeachment. Why have the Republicans been so quiet about this? Uh, because I think uh, that uh, we Republicans uh, are very much concerned about what's happening to the country. And we do not want to add to the clash uh, and clamor. Uh, we realize that the president has very important business to do. I was very distressed to see when the president was with Arafat that the media asked him a question. And I was uh, a little surprised that the president uh, would answer a question. And on the State of the Union speech on Tuesday, there's going to be a big cloud hanging over the <clears throat> House chamber as we all gather there uh, to hear the president. Uh, so that I think we really uh, uh, want to see what is going to happen here. I think we do feel uh, that it would be the best course to find out what the facts are at the earliest possible time, and that it would be very useful if the president would fulfill what he said last Thursday and come forward and tell us exactly what happened. This is not a criminal prosecution. Nobody wants to see President Clinton go to jail. Uh, the defense, a criminal defense, works customarily uh, to try to find out what the prosecution has, what the evidence is against, to sort of tailor uh, the defense. Uh, a criminal defense, uh, for my years as a prosecutor, it's sort of a, of a cat and mouse game. And I don't think that uh, uh, that sort of an approach is appropriate here. Uh, we're really looking at how we're going to govern this country. And uh, we cannot be held up for a protracted period of time when there are so many important issues facing the country, Iraq and the budget and the State of the Union, so that we need to, we need to get to the facts. And in the meantime, I want to uh, see the media frenzy hold and uh, see if we can't let the president carry on his duties. Carl Inspector, Senator from Pennsylvania, we thank you very much for joining thank us this you, morning. Thank you, Tim. Nice to be here. And joining